Hey everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're standing outside a house flip that is done. It is all staged, cleaned, ready to list. We're just waiting for professional pictures to come through, and we will put it on the MLS. So we're going to talk about what we paid for it, how we bought it, what we're selling it for, um, how much we spent in repairs, and other costs as well. And we'll probably splice in some before videos too, so you can see what it looked like when we bought it. And this is an interesting property because it's one I actually sold before. <laughs> I sold it in, oh, was it 2009 or 10 in that range? And I didn't own it, I didn't buy it, we didn't flip it. I listed it as a foreclosure. So back in the old days, I used to sell a lot of foreclosures as a real estate agent. And this was one of those houses. So kind of cool to see it come back up for sale and to um, end up buying it. Now, of course, check out InvestorMore.com for much more information on flips, rentals, being an agent, all that great stuff. We have lots and lots of books all over Amazon. So lots of education to teach people what to do too. And we love it if you like our videos and comment and subscribe. So we've had a lot of new subscribers with all of the drama at the complex, the seven unit property we own. So welcome to the channel if you haven't seen one of our regular flip videos, not a crazy one. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's staged, we've been staging all our houses, even in a hot market, it still really helps. We came through and we painted everything, but we didn't have to do a lot of work on this house compared to some of our other flips. This flooring was already here, you know, the windows were already here, we didn't have to do those. It's a, you know, a newer house, so that's nice. Um, some of the light fixtures we even left, the kitchen, we didn't do a whole lot to either. So that is kind of nice on these flips not to spend a ton of money. <laughs> um, here is the kitchen, which we've talked about a few times because you can see we painted the cabinets and we left these counters. So we thought about putting in granite or other counters, but in the end we decided to leave them and we actually had a bid for granite and I think it was over $6,000 for the granite. And we're like, I don't think we're gonna get our money back if we do that. And we actually had another um, granite person who's brand new, just opened their store, who was supposed to meet us here one day and um, never showed up, never called, never texted, just didn't show up. We called them a little bit later like, oh yeah, we're sorry, we forgot. Maybe next week we'll come by. So no apology. So try to tell people that's not a good way to run your business, but maybe it worked out better because we didn't end up doing the counters and I think it still looks okay. We did do the backsplash. It looked kind of off and weird before doing that. So there's a fly buzzing all around my head. <laughs> it looks much better with the backsplash there. And we don't do a fridge. A lot of people always ask us why we don't provide fridges. And it's not common in Colorado. Most houses don't sell with fridges. And in a house like this, you're probably spending $2,000 or more on a fridge. And so if we can get away not doing that, you know, 15 or 20 times a year on the amount of flips we do, that saves us a whole lot of money. Oh, here's the garage. Just a real basic two car garage. And it's not, I mean, it's pretty rough looking in there. I wonder if we should have painted that. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But <laughs> um, this range, we even were able to save the range. It was here before. We did have to get a new dishwasher because the one here was broken and trashed. Um, we paid $347,000 for this property. It was on the MLS. I think it was listed for 310 in that range. I saw it come up for sale and I was like, oh, it's a really good deal. And made an offer, I think above list price the first day. The agent took a little bit to get back to me and then said they had multiple offers. The sellers were hard to get a hold of. So we ended up going to 347 and got it. And in here too, we did very little. The vanity, bath surround was here. We just painted the vanity. So very nice. Um, and then uh, I made a commission because I'm a real estate agent, so that's nice. So I made the commission from buying it. And then we think it should be worth in the 450 to 460 range once we put it up for sale. We'll have, oh, 30,000 in other costs for paying another agent, a buyer's agent, um, financing costs, closing costs, selling costs, all that. And we probably spent Oh, probably 30,000 repairs on this one. I was hoping it would be lower, but even though it's like a 15 year old house, the furnace and AC were trashed. So we had to spend quite a bit 
redoing the furnace and AC. And um, so that added some unexpected costs, even though it's not that old of a house. But you will find that um, if you don't maintain your furnace, you don't change the filters, you don't take care of it, they definitely do not last as long as I think they should. You know, furnaces are supposed to last 30 years, but we see a lot of them that don't make it close to that long. Again in here, paint, carpet, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> and then another bedroom here. So this should be a really good, easy flip. Just have to get it back on the market here. Of course we had a hiccup. We always have a hiccup with everything that we do. And we'll show you that here in a second. And we did a video on that too. And of course we'll have the full before video when we bought it. A couple of progress videos listed below too. But in here, the floor is pretty ugly. Um, but besides that, when we turn the water back on, for some reason, we had this house for two months before anybody turned the water on. Our painters came through, contractors worked on it. None of them turned the water on. We don't know how they weren't able you know, to paint and do everything without having the water on, but they didn't. And then they turned it on. There was a broken pipe in the laundry room. It kind of flooded a little bit. We took care of that, got that fixed. So small hassle, but there always seems to be, you know, at least something can go wrong on every flip, no matter how easy it is. And then it does have a full basement here as well. All right, so another interesting thing about this house is it actually has six bedrooms. So we had three bedrooms up and there's three bedrooms down here as well. Now, when I listed it, when we looked at the MLS, when we looked at public records, I think they all said it had about 2,900 square feet or 3,000 total if you include the main floor and the basement here. But it seemed like bigger than that just for, you know, having all these bedrooms and rooms. And so I kind of walked off and measured it a little bit. And I think it's at least 3,200 square feet total. I think it's bigger than what public records and the MLS says. So not a big deal. It's not a huge amount, but um, that made sense to me. Now, something else that's slightly annoying, this door. Nikki and I walked through. It is locked and it's got a key that we don't have. And I even tried my credit card. Usually I can pop open doors pretty easy with my credit card. Can't get into there. And we don't think anything crazy is going on, but the back door was unlocked when we walked through it. And so um, I looked through the window well out in the backyard and couldn't see anybody in there or anything. And the backyard. This was a mess when we bought it. Like there were just weeds four feet tall. It was crazy. So yeah, it's not you know super amazing or beautiful, but it's okay. And we're in winter, as you can see, we kind of got our first snow a whole inch here in the almost late November now, pretty late for our first snow. But um, that helps hide some of the yard, but we can't really put sod in or do a whole lot in winter. And as you guys know who follow us, we probably want it anyway, because it's usually not worth it. Um, in general, people think, hey, I can fix a yard. It's something I can, you know, DIY, do it myself, and it's not a big deal. So that's why we often don't do it. Um, here's a window well I saw about where I was peeking in there to see if anybody is in that basement. Did not see anybody, but again, you know, I can't see the full thing. Our beautiful new air conditioner is right there. Haven't heard anything, probably just the cleaner or possibly the stagers bumped the lock button when they were coming out. But then, you know, it's kind of weird that the door is closed as well because now the other doors were closed. So it's possible that there's someone living in the house. We don't know, but we'll have one of our guys come over and pop that open. And uh, hopefully, yeah, there's nobody in there. If there is somebody in there and they can hear me, not a good place to live. All right. <laughs> uh, so that would be one of the bedrooms we can't see. We saw the other bedroom already. We have this bathroom right here. Again, this bathroom pretty much looked like this when we bought the property. We painted, cleaned things up a little bit. Um, there was some water damage up here when we bought it. So obviously the pipe had been broken before we bought it, but you know, nobody tested the water. That's our fault. And then a little bit more water damage out here after it flooded again. So we had to come through and redo that. But besides that, really, this was such an easy flip. And it literally cost us like less money to paint it and do some of these minor remodels 
than it would have cost us to put in granite, <laughs> which is crazy. Now, obviously our repair costs are higher than that because we have the flooring, the carpet down here, the HVAC, the air conditioning, um, some of the other stuff. But really, man, if every flip was this easy, that would be amazing. Now, as you know, who watch us, and I talked about the complex before, every flip is not that easy because that's one where we had to do an eviction, 500 tires showed up, three cash for keys, and just a property in horrible shape. So if you haven't seen that series, we made its own playlist. It is amazing. So that is the property. So like I said, you've got a family room here, another kind of rec room back there, three bedrooms down here, plus a bathroom. Then you've got your upstairs, so it's a big house. Should be worth around 450, maybe a little more. We should have a pretty good profit margin on this because it's such an easy flip. A pretty short turnaround time too. We went on this one right away um, because we have a lot of projects going and this is one of the more expensive projects. So we like to prioritize those because we do finance our flips and the longer we have them, the more money they cost them, us. And the more expensive the flip is, the more money it costs us. So we try and fix the ones that are you know, more expensive first. So like how it turned out, like the staging, We'll see how fast it sells. I'll make sure I update you guys either with a short or some kind of other note on um, when it goes under contract or sells. So make sure you subscribe there. Like I said, we love the likes, love the comments. Keep those coming. Let us know what you think of this property. We'll let you know as well if somebody is living in the house that we don't know about and they're listening to me right now talk about them. Um, again, I doubt it, but you know, stranger things have happened. <laughs> and, um, of course, we'll have many more videos on our flips rentals, advice videos, all that stuff. And you have a, if you have ideas for new videos that you want to hear us do, let me know, drop a comment below. It's a good chance we already did it, or we might make a new one if it's one we haven't done. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon.